Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Cortman, and now for the Mental Health Minute. Do you suffer from clinical depression? Is there a way that we can actually ascertain whether you have this condition? I mean, what, what is clinical depression? First of all, if you have a bad day or a rough weekend, that does not constitute the definition of clinical depression. In order for someone to be diagnosed with major depression, clinical depression, you have to have two full weeks of suffering with a number of symptoms. But I want to talk about two symptoms, the two most important symptoms of clinical depression. The first one everybody knows about, it's called dysphoria. And dysphoria is the opposite of euphoria. You know, when you're in a a high state, you're in a a place of feeling joy and, and happiness. Well, dysphoria is a low mood. It's sad, it's down, it's melancholy, it's depressed. If you're feeling that and have been feeling that for at least a couple of weeks, that's one of the signs that you have clinical depression. But the second one is known as anhedonia. Now, anhedonia is the loss of pleasure in the usually rewarding activities. The root word there is hedon. And we have hedonism, which is eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. You put the prefix an before it, and it means not, not hedonistic. You've lost your ability to enjoy things. So if someone says to you, hey, our favorite band is coming to town next month. Let's get tickets. And you say, yeah, I I don't want to. Or, hey, why don't we go out and have some dinner together with the guys? And you say, yeah, no interest. Go without me. Or you don't want to golf. Or you don't want to do the things that you usually enjoy. And you don't enjoy them. One of the telltale signs for people who have the capacity to climb out of depression is they do enjoy their activities, but they tend to keep themselves, they restrict themselves from doing things because they're not in the best possible place. But remember, if you have clinical depression, it's a very treatable illness. And I would encourage you to talk to your primary care physician and and seek help because it's possible to climb back out and be the healthiest version of you once again.